there, it's Farmer Brad, and on today's video, I have another Rainpoint product. And what this is, is two more smart valves. The fine folks over at Rainpoint sent this over because uh, we're headed on vacation soon, and we needed better coverage in the garden to be able to smartly water our plants. So here is the two valves. This uh, can be controlled via the Wi-Fi and uh, click this link to be able to view the, the last video we made with Rainpoint where I show how to configure the hub. One of those hubs can handle 10 of these, uh, which each one of these has two valves, which is pretty awesome. Um, also in the description, there will be a discount code that uh, will have an expiration date. Make sure to check out those details. Uh, so let's get into this. First of all, pop the back. It will need four AA batteries. And I'll go ahead and get these in there. Okay. That is ready to go. And now it is in pairing mode. So I'm gonna bring up the app. So once I put the batteries in, this started blinking, and then I brought up the HomeGuard app and pressed the plus sign. Then I selected the two-way valve and it started pairing. I then pushed the left button and then it, identified it and added it to the app. Now let's get it hooked up to the garden uh, water spigot. Okay, so I'm going to attach this here. Okay, so I had to move some things around. But I'm going to turn this on here. I'm gonna turn this on, or tighten this. And then I'm going to turn the water on. And that's a good sign. There's no water coming from there. Now I'm going to get a garden hose to hook up to one of these. So I've had to move some things around. I moved uh, this over to here and then I need to reconnect the irrigation that's on the wall. So what you wanna do is you wanna put Teflon tape on these plastic threads. You wanna do a couple loops. And then I'll Tighten that. Oh, turn the water on. There we go. That's working. Now I'll have to change the settings from this over to here for the timer. But uh, let me get the overhead sprinkler set up and we'll be able to remotely turn it on. So I have this set up here and then I have an overhead sprinkler, and this will be able to get some garden plants over there, there, as well as these raised beds. I haven't had a chance to run the irrigation directly to each bed, uh, so this will give me some good coverage uh, when we're on vacation, in case things get too hot. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the sprinkler and see how the coverage is. Okay, so the sprinkler's a little too strong. I need to dial it back. I was having issues with pressure and uh, I was able to pull out the screen and I'm gonna wash this off and put it back and that should help with the pressure. Once I cleared out that screen, now there's a lot of water pressure. 
with the sprinkler. Now I just gotta get it dialed in. Had to clean out some blockage in the garden hoses and stuff, um, but now the overhead sprinkler is working great. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you Rain Point for sending out another valve. So this will give me up to four irrigation points that I can utilize. Now the eventual goal is I'm going to make a one foot by one foot grid in each of those raised beds that will be connected via PVC to a rain point. Uh, so that then I'll be able to just with one, one scheduling water all of the raised beds. Thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, now's a great time to homestead and uh, good luck with uh, your spring and fall garden. Take care.